In this question, a block of mass m is placed and released from top of an inclined plane of length l, which has a friction coefficient mu for the block. If it slides down, find the time taken by the block to reach the ground. So the block is covering the length of this inclined plane, which is given as l. The plane is inclined at an angle theta with the horizontal, and there is a coefficient of friction offered by the plane on the block, which is given as mu. And we have to find the uh, we have to find the time taken by the block to reach to cover this distance l to reach the ground. So first, let us talk about the forces that are being applied. Now this block has mg acting downward. And the normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface, so it, n will be in this direction. So in vertical direction, if this is theta, then this angle will also be theta. So we have opposite to n, we have the force mg cos theta. Another component of mg will be acting in this direction, which is mg sin theta. Now this mg sin theta is the force which is which will be applied on the block to make it move. So mg sin theta has the tendency to make the block move in downward direction. So that means because of mg sin theta, there will be a friction in upward direction, which will be equal to mu n. So if we, if we find the equations, then for this mg sin theta minus f, which is mu n, will be equal to the acceleration with which m a the acceleration with which the block is moving so this will be the equation also n if n has to be equal to mg cos theta to keep the block in equilibrium otherwise it will if n is greater than mg cos theta then the block will be moving in this direction also but since that is not happening that means n should be equal to mg cos theta So if we use this in the first equation, then we get mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta equals to ma. Now m gets cancelled on both sides. So we get g sin theta minus mu g cos theta equals to a. So this is the value of our acceleration. The length that is traveled by the block is L and if you use second equation of motion L will be equals to ut plus half a t square since it is released from from top the top of the inclined plane so we can say that it is released from rest so this term becomes zero and L is half a t square a is this so we'll put g sin theta minus mu g cos theta in place of a and t square and we have to find the value of t so if we solve this equation, if we simplify this equation, then it will be equal to 2L and this will go in the denominator. So it will be G sin theta minus mu G cos theta and square. So it will be a square root here. So this will be the answer. This will be the time taken by the block to cover the distance L.